Hello everybody and welcome to Greg's Vintage Workshop where I'm working to restore history one piece at a time. Tonight we're going to be doing part four of the late 1940s Speed Queen Ringer washer. In part three we did the motor, took it apart, cleaned it, reassembled it, got it working again. And so our next step and getting closer to the final major component is the ringer assembly itself. And so in part four, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take it apart, I'm going to clean it, I'm going to lubricate it, I'm going to fix anything I find broken that I can do. But that's what we're going to do. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start taking this old ringer apart. And I've obviously never had a ringer apart, so I have no idea how it comes apart. I'm just going to figure it out as we go. So just looking at this thing, I see a spring here. So I think that this looks like that. And that's that piece out. Now I see a Phillips screw here, a Phillips screw here, one here, and one here.
so I got this cover off. I had to get the pin out of the lever in order to do it. But once I got it, you can see it's full of nasty, nasty, nasty grease. So we're going to have to clean all this out. The o ring was flattened, and not where, if you see that, it's pinched on either side of that. And the reason it's pinched is if you look at this, it's got an o ring groove that goes all the way around. Well, the groove don't go down below that hole, it stays above it. And whoever had this apart at some point in time let that droop down in there and it did not go in its grooves hanging down and kinked it and smashed it and it leaked. So we'll have to make a new o-ring. So new o-ring, clean it all out, pay close attention where everything goes and hopefully I can get it back together again. Okay, as you guys can see, I got the uh, transmission sort of back together again, all new grease in it. This is the heavy duty complex grease uh, that I've been using. Had to go get a new cotter pin for this, which I haven't installed yet. So I'm just going to use a bead of silicone in the groove on this cover all the way around and call it good. So, you get a cotter pin in that, and we'll move forward. That should work. All right. Put some grease on this. Both sides, as well as a little on that washer. Just to make sure it stays lubricated. And we'll get our silicone gasket maker. And I'll put it around here. If I can squish enough out to do it. And it should give us a pretty good bead. Alright, so we need to this thing about as centered as it can be before I start trying to stab that cap on to try and make sure that washer don't come out. We shall see what we can do here. I don't have a whole hell of a lot of confidence that that washer is going to stay in place. Hopefully you don't get out of screen. I'm going to turn you a little bit. For the best and expect the worst. Well, it either went in or it didn't. One of the two could have flipped out. We can't know.
kind of expected to see my silicone ooze out a little bit, but it didn't, so... Alright, so that is that. I almost want to put a little o-ring around that shaft to make sure none of that grease works its way out but it didn't have one originally I don't know that I want to maybe like a flat washer would work I think I can come up with 